Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here with a random hatchet I found on the sidewalk. Again, known you for at least three years now. <laughs> uh, but before our I will, again, I will, I will not take this disrespect. But yeah, before I start the game, uh, my news, basically. Uh, hold on, I gotta look at the schedule. I, I should have looked at the schedule before hitting over. Oh boy. Starting... Professional VTuber, everyone. Uh, February 18th, which I think is when, yeah, when I put the first SCP stream I haven't done in a while. With a, a game I have not tried out yet. Basically, uh, for games that mainly are single player and don't have like it's not like a visual novel or something like that, I'm gonna start trying just being a solo stream. Gotcha. Doesn't mean I won't like maybe once in a while I'll pull a link or something like that. It's just gotcha. I want to do that. So I meant to do that starting last year, but then we got into too many multiplayer games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's valid. Alright. So, anyways, let's get stuck. Okay, Chatty Cassie likes to get to know my characters. Cassie will talk a fair amount. Silent Night, I prefer my character on the quiet side. Cassie will only speak or plot critical lines. I mean, I would like to know more about the game. Like, story Yeah. Games. Oh, we actually get to choose. Story, experience the ghost story of Echo Bluff, Echo Bluff 3 of, of significant danger. Her narrative enthusiast and explorers. Spooky, mix of story and danger. <laughs> Gen Apple Bright, uh, more of like uh, light, <laughs> as Gen Apple said. The original version of the game, Dying Breaks brings you to the entrance to Echo Bluff with all your progress intact. For people who enjoy a bit of risk. Scary. Enemies are much more aggressive. Dying brings you to the main menu. For those who enjoy a challenge. Yeah, we're going to score it. Uh, I was thinking spooky. Well, too late. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, I probably will say it's just, oh, he's just scared of me. It's when you're blind, defense. you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. Maybe Cassie never gonna find you. <laughs> Cassie, Cassie. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now. What's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right, <laughs> excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. Uh, I'm good, Jen Apple. And most Sorry. importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. This is, it. This is actually a really cool concept. Hmm. Considering you're boarding and I'm at the door, we're both past the point of no return here. <sighs> I'm tired of being told what I can't do. I want answers. I want to sleep. I want my life back. And I'm 
prove I can do this. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? Oh, what? That's something interesting I want to uh, look into. Do... Do blind people have dreams in which they can actually see things as if using their eyes? Maybe. I feel like it would make sense for like someone who like had vision at some point in their life and then lost it, but like if someone's born without the sense of sight, Jeez. would they oh, deep breaths, Jeez. Cassie. You're here for a reason. Would they, like, actually be able to have dreams that feature sight? Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. Felicia? Right, why are you what like this? A memory? Damn it, mic. It's because my mic's not probably as close as me as it usually is. So that's probably why I'm not as loud. Oh, there's stairs. My mark's memories appear in green. Okay, so the stairs are made out of metal. What was that? Okay. Not, don't go that way. That's as much as I can. I can't actually change the volume of the person's voice.
Bruh. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay, okay, fine. I'll leave it for the next go. That? Not the person. <sighs> Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? There it is! The rope! Touch. <laughs> This is the rope. The same damn rope from my dreams, but the hell does it mean? Damn. I guess I still have some digging around to do. Wish I left that one buried in the backyard. That was not an echo. I guess great news first. Okay, great news. Let's go towards the sound. What? What do you mean? I... I said great news. Hold on, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna knock that down a bit. Hello, hello. Okay, so you can hear me now. You might want to you might want to alter your settings a little extra cuz like there when you said hello, all I could hear was a very annoying person. Oh, go fuck yourself. That was really lame. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> was that tree in my dreams and I just forgot? What the hell? Who's here? No one's in here. You know, yelling no one's in here isn't very convincing. Uh, great news, uh, that's what Patrick said. Yeah. in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab him. Jesus. Okay, so, okay, so we need to go over there. So we gotta go there. 
Uh, so what news? Uh, we said great news. Great news. What's the great news? Oh, never mind. We can't even go down here. Hopefully it didn't look anything like that guy coming out of the ground. Yeah, then I guess good news and then bad news. The real talks. Congratulations. I love my healthy dose of pills. Lerp. Scan with Delphi. Delphi. Text to speech. Patient. Briar. Felicia. 20 milligrams fluxodine. Tabs. Instructions. Take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Doctor? Something tells me that it could be considered, um, oh, what's the term? Uh, conflict of interest. But at the same time, like, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see much of an issue line. with it. Search. I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. Yeah, also, the Jen Apple says good news is I have Taco Bell. I don't look. Bad news is I dropped my Taco Bell. Oh. This well, place that's feels different. I've, I've gotten too accustomed to Wolfenstein. I see you turn like a dark corner, and my first thought is, ah, oh, when's the fucking armored German Shepherd gonna try to eat me. Oh. Oh, re that thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. Hitting F. Nothing's happening. I guess I can't re trigger that yet. Uh, I mean, you literally just did. Uh, I was a triple because I didn't even hit F. I it up. Yeah, like the. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. You're know saying. It, like, it was very clearly not you speaking. Go 
best errands, I can get back to the snooping. You know, like, that's a notable thing. Like, anytime someone, like... Anytime someone uh, acts as if um, there's like no risk <laughs> for a woman having pregnancy, it's just like, <clears throat> do you think that it's normal for someone to end up regularly puking their guts out? Like, I, I still, I, oh. It's Sorry. almost I like she's hard to look at. Here My again. eyes can't focus. I should probably tell Richard. I don't want to tell Richard. Like, like, I, I tend to appreciate, like, the fact that, like, pregnancy is a beautiful and challenging thing, but it's just that a challenging thing. Like, assuming that everyone can handle it, ju just like speaking purely physically, is just so fucking absurd. Yeah. You know what? Here's my idea. Hook up every single quote-unquote pro-life politician to one of those machines that uh, simulates the pain of giving birth. See how long they keep acting as if... Uh, there's no downsides to their positions. Well, that's one way to sculpt. It looks like something I would make a spore. Kind of does, yeah. <laughs> it's like a weird plant monster. Listen to these star-crossed lovers. We are a psychic and a psychiatrist. Oh, that analytical mind of yours is switched on 24-7. Hmm. Until I can get a glass of Merlot into you and maybe slip a Jasper stone under your pillow. <laughs> then you become almost bearable. <clears throat> it's already starting to sound like, hey, you're in a very bad relationship. Mm hmm. Despite you, I'm gonna die. And a goddamn apple have to do with anything. Why that? Why those items? Messages. Phone. Phone. Messages. Oh. Messages. Michael. Oh. Hey there, Cass. I just got word you're heading to Massachusetts. That's quite the trip. Me, hey Miller. Yep. I'm on the tarmac. Good times. Michael, really? That's a pretty long flight. Why Massachusetts? Me, long indeed. But necessary. Sorry to be so cryptic, but it's important that I go. Michael, okay. If you ever need to email me again, I'll be waiting. Me. I'll bring you back some Boston cream pie and we'll get to those emails. Promise. Boston cream pie. 
messages. Right. Me messages. Okay, we can't access anything else. Oh, here we go. Dose two. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. I really hope this relationship, the relationship she had, wasn't a really bad one. How many drugs can I put my wife on? Ah, it is. It's right here. Open lock. What would Dr. Breyer use for a code? Something important to him? Doctor, yeah, what would Dr. Blair use for a code? Oh, wait. Dose two. Two. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. Never mind. I was about to say, why the fuck would he... Uh... Turn, turn to your right. It looked like there was something on the wall from the other side. Oh, I think it was just reflection from the green. That's how that works. Grab paint from Don't know where it's coming from, but sometimes I see this thing. Don't know why, but I just have to paint it. Even if it's just to get it out of my periphery. Check the toilet. Jesus fucking. Oh fucking hell. Did I get you too? Kinda, yeah. I'm I'm only half paying attention. I've got my own game. But I already like this game so Oh man. I suddenly don't feel so good. I hate the sound of the metal. It's accurate, though. I mean, well, it's obviously accurate, I just don't like it. Oh. A crib. Scan with Delphi. Delphi. Text to speech. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC 2118. 2118. To be sure, 
but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. I should try 2118 for that key code. No, the only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. Okay, so what's the code? 2118. That's another voice for an idea. Let's see here. Dose one, 50 milligrams of amipramine, along with a hundred milligrams of morphine for pain. Patient is woozy, but not hysterical. We'll maintain dosage tomorrow. Isn't morphine bad to give to a pregnant woman, though? Not sure if it's being given to her. But assuming that she is the patient he's talking about, then yeah, probably. Just a shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. What was it again? Cha-ching. Why can't I go in anymore? I know, my fingers fumble keys and sometimes... I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this body. I don't want any more pills. Okay, doctor, her husband might need to I don't like where this is going. Yeah. Just, uh, it's clear leading the signs to that. Yeah, I'm hoping this is after the pregnancy. One, some kind of woman, woman. Some somehow connected to the tree. Two, other people, seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache. Three, that song. Four, the noises. Five, misaligned chakras. chakras. Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Uh, Daddy. Uh, there might be a bit of cheating. I don't... well, maybe, yeah. My first inclination there was, like, to... like, asking them to actually show up and spend time with them in bed. Okay, yeah, so this is after the pregnancy. But at least he's not doing this to her while she's pregnant.
there's actual oh hi there there's actual arcade machines how, how rich were they because i've looked up how much these cost they're like a thousand each well yeah and that's today's money Another audio log. Found one of Felicia's paintings today. While I did in fact encourage her to take up this new hobby after seeing this piece, I... Well, it sickened me. It made me question my own advice. It wasn't her technique that gave me pause, but rather her subject matter. Oh no, my wife is drawing things I find spooky. Uh, this guy would not like my drawings. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good thing you're not his wife. Wrong hatchet. Nothing's wrong. Oh, hi there. That was a, a floating deer head. Bunch of rocks. You got a shit ton of rocks. Grab crystal. Oh, I'm sorry, not box. Crystals. First, the sage brush is now this. Rock. How does malachite crack? No, crystal is a crystal. It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just, just shatter like that? Solarium. I know how to raise my baby. Give me the goddamn key to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days. Okay. I'm starting to feel like the husband is not the bad one in a relationship now. I mean, at the same time, this woman's obviously dealing with a whole shit ton of BS. Besides, you can always have a Johnny Depp Amber Heard situation where, you know, it's kind of both parties being abusive at the same time. Yeah. Dose 3. Attempted a blockade of presynaptic dopamine reuptake, but this has accelerated patient psychosis. Going to try a cocktail of meprotoline, amoxapine, and trazodone. Symptoms not typical postpartum and seem to be triggered in certain parts of the home. Okay. Considering hypnosis. Psychosis. Interesting. Here's no 
Silver Stone story, it does have really good standards. E. That does kind of sound like where this wall would lead. Apparently, there was a, a ghost that's just a little, little table. No. I guess I'm just a ceramic tiles. Yeah, that's what that sounds like. Keeping these, because at some point, we're gonna need to talk about this. I'm starting to get it. What? The house was already haunted, and he's trying to prescribe away her having seen the haunting. Uh, At least that's what it sounds like to me. So I've far. taken none of his prescriptions. I still see it. I still see it. I still see it. Force me to look over here. What is it about that tree? I feel it too. It was because there was a whole bunch of stuff in the way. Yeah. Why are Katana? Why am I still seeing it? Oh. Now who the fuck is Betty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I'm guessing is that he started trying to prescribe away her. Fuck is this? Hello? Whoever you are, I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't scare me. What are you walking on?
fuck? Whoever you are, I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't scare me. Alright, get your family fuck off. Starting to think this has less to do with ghosts and more to do with fucking aliens, because what the fuck are you spitting in? I don't know. Uh, the, uh. Stop hitting it. house and not enough proper fire safety techniques set up. Stop fucking with me. Serge is actually you. I have a literal fire to put out. I'll call you back. What the fuck? They start summoning demons or demons or some shit. What the fuck? Patient showing signs of progress. She is accepting the switch to bottle feeding and is no longer. Wait a moment. What's that? I uh must be hearing things. I. Any more sleep? Hello? What's that? Who's th who's there? Is something something burning? Felicia! No, no, no! This this is how it ends. Fucking house! It made Felicia burn her family alive. Why is it tormenting these poor people? I I thought I was supposed to fix it. To stop it! What, what, what am I even doing here? I don't understand! Oh. I, shouldn't, I shouldn't be here. This is all wrong. I gotta get out now.
Not without the pills. I'm ready to join you now. There's no one left for me. Give me a sign you're still here. A knock. Those footsteps, your phonograph. Anything. I need to move on, but I'm afraid. Please show yourself. Your sister in suffering. Felicia. Did the sister show up trying to figure this out what's going so on? Shit. The rope. I need to head back there. Stat. None of this was your fault. Why are you doing this? What the hell is the point of any of this? Oh. Where am I? The tree. I a spry old man handing her the socket. It was inscribed, By healing fingers hath my eternal gratitude. Imagine my shock when he turned and I saw it was Erwin, the town cripple, and there was no cane in sight. Who was that? And who was she talking 